The principal outcomes for our young people are to reflect about their future and if they were frightened to go to university or to college to pursue a career, that hopefully this experience will soften the fear and give them back the ability to think, maybe I can apply, maybe I can do this. The second part of it is the knowledge that they've gained from the workshops, from the year of being involved in the project and with the certification, have they got enough skills that they can then approach an employer for an apprenticeship, um, improve their skills in the way that they use their media and even if they don't want a career in journalism, I think the skills, the discipline and what they've learned, they can apply across many other fields that they want to do. Um, it's been very interesting that with one of the young people, within two days of being here, he reformatted his whole um, career pathway from wanting to be a footballer to now wanting to do photojournalism. And he's already, I've got, he's already researched it, what he needs to do, what he needs to achieve. And, that was, and he loved all the experiences with all the tutors and he's so confident and when we go back to London he wants help to apply and to do these things. And the final thing for me was that between an academic young person and a non-academic young person the difference is very small. The fact that they can sit together, work together, accomplish projects together um, and sit shoulder by shoulder to, for a common goal actually is the, is the main thing, is for them not to be frightened of that world and not to think that because their life has been slightly different that they are less of a human being than the person who has got an academic qualification.